getting back into the radiator stuff. But first I want to thank Steve C for sending me these gloves. He noticed I was wearing the uh, blue latex gloves that continually break. I like those because they're disposable and you can get grease on them and not have to worry about them. But for this kind of stuff, these are working great. So thanks, Steve. So we've got the big hole here. We've got the, the original bracket here that kind of ties the front end together. And um, what I've done is I've taken just a piece of aluminum angle iron and bolted it to this piece, this cross member piece. You can see it's still just hanging out. I've already test fit it and it fits great. So I'm gonna bolt it together and then take the radiator and place it and do any body trimming that we need to do. The radiator is mocked in place. Let's see, you can kind of see it sits pretty snugly right here. In fact, I actually bent it real slightly over a, uh, over a drum and uh, gave it a little bit of a curve. So it just clears this guy and I need to take care of some fins that were bent in that process, but it's looking like it's gonna fit really well right in there. You can see just how slim and trim that thing is. And we should have a good amount of um, exposure to fresh air right down here. So next up, I'm just going to uh, kind of test fit some fans right in here and then figure out a way to box all that in. Here's the radiator with the uh, spall fans that I have. Um, I just have these in the shop. I think these came off of my school bus air conditioning arrangement, but... You can see the part that I'm going to try using. We'll see how it goes. This is all an experiment. So I'm going to make a shroud eventually. It's going to tie into these little uh, holes right here. And what that'll do is that'll allow all of this spare radiator surface to flow through the fans um, when they're sucking. So... I'm going to be doing that later. Right now, I'm just going to zip tie these guys on and uh, get this bug up and running. The radiator is mounted with the fans. I just did that. Just zip tied for now, like I said. Going to get a uh, shroud on there at some point. But uh, I also took the uh, stock Subaru brackets, kind of bent them just a touch, and screwed them in to hold the top end. So... I mean, it's it's pretty stout. What I'm gonna do next, or eventually, is get this kind of figured out, this box, and um, get it, just get it tied in and looking nice. And I think I'm gonna come over the top with whatever I'm using to uh, seal off the hole. I'm gonna come over the top and secure it around here as well because that'll channel you know any any air coming up from below that that wants to just shove itself up here it'll it'll channel it through the radiator so that's going to be another time and another video for now that kind of wraps up the mounting of the radiator so pretty stoked next up i'm going to finish the clutch stuff on the engine and get the engine installed